Welcome back to off Road Outlaws, guys, and today we're going to be doing something that's a little bit different, but a little bit similar to what we've been doing previously on off Road Outlaws, but not exactly the same. So, what I mean by that is this is going to be a randomized build, but it's going to be a lot more randomized than before, because this time we're going to actually be using a random number generator to help us choose different elements of this build. Now, this was suggested by actually multiple people in the comment section of the past two random vehicle builds and what I've done is I've actually got my phone right here with a random number generator on it and the first step is obviously picking a truck right so if we go to pick a truck we're going to have 41 trucks so I've got my minimum number being one my maximum number being 41 and I'm gonna hit generate and we're gonna see what number I get in three two one generate I got 35 35 is the number that I got, and so I'm going to go ahead and just, like, show that to you guys so you guys can see that I got 35, and now we're going to go ahead and scroll over to the 35th truck, so 41, 34, 35, being really 41, 40, 39, 38, 37, 36, 35, so that's going to be the new Bronco that is a very interesting choice. I did not figure that it would pop up with that, but that's really cool that that's what it end up, ended up being. All right, so we're going to go ahead and buy our new Bronco to kick off this build. Now, as far as the upgrades go, this is the one part of it where it's not random. It's just going to go ahead and get maxed out so that it has uh, full capabilities that are offered to it. Now, I will say, as far as diesel goes, this is going to be interesting because I'm going to actually use the random generator for the diesel part, and literally, I'm going to have it be one for gas, two for diesel, my minimum is one, my max is two, generate one. All right, so we're going to stay with, we're going to stay with gas because one was going to be gas. Okay, so durability is going to go all the way up. Gearbox wise, I'm gonna leave gearbox alone and let well actually, you know what? No, I'm randomizing that too. One for automatic, two for manual. So one for automatic, two for manual. Generate. I said generate. Oh, all right. So two. So actually, it's gonna be a manual. Oh, that's gonna be interesting. It's getting an e-brake and tracks. Oh god. All right, so tracks. This will be interesting. Okay, so I'm thinking one for one for wheels, two for tracks. Generate one. Okay, yep, one will work. That's gonna be that. That means it's gonna stay wheels, and then turbo build wise, it's gonna get full turbo tuning. So let's see now. So we've got so it's a gas full stage four turbo manual transmission so this is already already turning out to be very very interesting and so that's all done and now in the tuning department we have how many suspension types do we have we have one two oh god we have one two three four five six okay so we have six this will be interesting then so we have six Minimum one, maximum six, and what do we get? Generate? Really? Two? Okay. So our front suspension is going to be an I-beam, and then I'm going to, I guess, I'm going to throw heavy duty in the mix just to, like, just to have it. And then rear, we have, again, one, two, three, four. So just one, two, okay, so four. All right, then. One and four, generate. Three, so one, two, three. So rear is going to be solid pro, and I'm going to go ahead and throw heavy duty on that. So it's a heavy duty I-beam in the front and a solid axle pro heavy duty in the back. This is already getting very, very interesting. Okay, so I'm going to go out and upgrade all of that to stage five. And then I think since all of these other aspects of this rig have been randomized, I'm going to allow the actual tuning to basically be, you know, whatever we pretty much want it to be. Max axis width in the front is going to be 0.4. Uh, wow, you can take that to a 0.15, but I'm just going to match it to the front and go 0.4. Uh, yeah, 0.4 will do. And actually, 
I might need to go a little narrower because the rear is so much wider than the front. I go down to like a 0.3. That's a little bit better. I mean, not necessarily too much, but a little bit better. Max travel looks very weird. That looks like, that looks super weird. Well, without making it look weird, a 0 0.40 is going to be where we're going to have to stop that guy on the travel department. So let's see. I'll tell you what. We'll make it like max travel and then we'll use the stiffness to bring it back down. We'll bring it back down to like 10,200 10, in the front. And then in the back, we... Oh, God, that's very squatted. All right, let's see. It's going to be flexy, that's for sure. That is that is for dang sure. It's going to be super flexy. 7,800 in the back. Okay, so shock size... Well, shocks themselves are going to be... Let's see. Shocks 1... And shock size, I'm going to bump that up to like, I don't know, like let's say 1.7. And in the back, we'll just do the same thing. Shock 1 and 1.7. Not really too worried about like the actual size of the shocks. It's just kind of like cool to have. And then the damping, I'm going to make it like, I don't know, like 2,800-ish. Yeah, we'll about 2,800. And we'll use 2,700 to 2,800 kind of as our starting point. And so now... Let's see. Wheels and tires. Yes, the grand wheel and tire package. So the wheel and tire package, I'm going to say we're going to run. I want this thing to be fairly capable. So I'm going to run a 1.3 in terms of that's not what I wanted. I meant wheel radius. So 1.3 radius. We're going to have to do some, uh, some body work to get that to fit properly. Width is going to be a 1.3. And the width in the back is going to be a 1.3 as well. So those are some properly, like, beefy boys on that thing. So we might have to, uh, we might have to kind of work with, oh, wait. Why am I, why was it, like, in the back? That's not what I wanted. Okay. Now the sizes are matched a lot better. All right. So gearing tuning, I'm just going to max that out all the way. And I'm going to put a fairly acceleration-focused tune and <clears throat> that'll be one, two, and 0.9. Okay, so fairly acceleration focused. Let's see how it does on the flex. Let's also drop test it. Oh, that is extremely soft. It's not necessarily going to be designed for jumps, but that rear flex is incredible. Oh, geez. That front suspension is, um, it's weird. The front suspension is just really, really weird. Um, I've never done really any kind of like, twin i-beam builds before although i mean this seems to be doing fine it definitely it definitely has a lot of flex to it but let's see what it puts down for power on the dyno throw a perfect setup on it run the dyno so 705 horsepower and 529 foot pounds of torque not necessarily the fastest thing in the world but i think it'll definitely work for what we've got uh for what we've got planned for it so now into the actual visual customization. So interestingly enough, I do want to go ahead and so we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 wheel choices. Okay, back to the random numbers generator. So that's going to get 1 to 13, generate 4. Interesting. Okay, so four is going to be, let's see, one, two, three, four. That is an amazing looking wheel for that. Dude, I'm going to so throw a beadlock on that. Oh, that looks so good. That looks so good. Like, dude, I, I should use a random number generator way more often because it builds way cooler vehicles than the uh, game randomizer seems to. Okay, so we've got that. And then I'm going to go with a metallic finish on the wheels themselves. And I kind of want to do like a bronzish gold. Kind of like a method racing sort of color. So let me go back here to like almost a yellow. Is that pretty close? Ah, uh, the fronts are a little brighter. Is that pretty close? Yeah, it's close enough. Plenty close enough. Good lord, that thing is looking awesome right now. That's looking so good. All right, so tires-wise, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 tire choices. This really could make or break this build, and I am a little concerned as to how it's going to actually be. 
So let's see. And generate. 12. Okay, so... Well, there's 14 of them, so 14, 13, 12. Bro, I'm so happy. We got such good tires out of that. Oh my god. Oh, this is this is amazing. This is absolutely amazing. I, I, I love this. I absolutely love this. Now, I do think I'm going to have to do a couple of things. I want to do... Oh my god, should it be randomly generated on each thing? Oh, I guess. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bumpers. All right, seven bumpers then. Now, let's see, bumpers one through seven. Bumper number two. Oh, not a bad bumper at all. Okay, I'll take that. And one through three, I'm not going to randomize that one because I'm just going to take it off. And the flares, I'm going to just, like, have no flares so we can actually have, you know, uh, proper clearance. Now, this part, I I guess I have to randomize it. I don't want to, but I guess I have to. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, one through five, and generate three. Really? Okay. All right, so one, two, three. Well, that's not bad. It's not exactly what I would have picked, necessarily, but I'll do it. Um, Snorkel-wise, I'm going to go ahead and throw it on there. No randomizer for that, because that's kind of a necessity. And let's see... Randomizing each individual thing is going to get tricky, isn't it? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One through seven for the... Well, wait, wait, wait. For the exhausts. Okay, so one through seven for the exhaust, it said six. What is six going to give us? Seven, six. Oh, God. All right, that's like a random, like, just dump pipe. Like, okay. Um, let's see. Winch, I'll throw it on there just to have it. And then lights, I will make them white HIDs. I won't randomize those. And then we will throw a repair pack in the back. You know, I've got to say that, like, on the whole, this thing, I'm insanely happy with it. I almost don't want to change the color because look what... I mean, most of this is from a freaking random number generator. And it gave us this. That's insane. I mean, there's a couple of areas where, like, I mean, I definitely, like, I didn't randomize the tuning. But, like, the actual randomized parts blows my mind. All right. Colors-wise, I... Mm, I don't know if I... I don't know if I want to, like, do a random color. I'm just so happy with the red. I mean, I know that there's going to be people out there that are going to be like, Of course you like the red. I love it. It looks so good. Okay, there is no way that the in-game random generator could have made something this cool. I, I'm just going to go on and say that right now. There's no way the random in-game generator, like, could have made something this cool. Look at this. Look at what just using a random number generator did for us. That is absolutely nuts. There is absolutely no way that I could have predicted... A random number generator giving us something this freaking cool. I love it. I absolutely love it. And I am absolutely keeping it. Okay, now it's time to take this thing out for a test drive. And I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to take it. But I know I'm going to take it somewhere fun. Because I think it's going to need, like, it's going to need something to test, you know, some of its abilities, right? I mean, like, let's see. Planet Earth is a fun map. Let's see. Crater Crawl is a fun map. Oh, man, Mild to Wild is cool. I mean, it's pretty much like a crawler build, right? So, in that respect, we should probably take it somewhere that, I guess, like, bring your truck or rock crawler, Mild to Wild, let's do it. I mean, that makes sense, right? It makes sense as far as the build goes, in my opinion. Now, let me know in the comment section down below if you guys enjoyed this type of video. I know, like, using a random number generator to build a vehicle in Offroad Outlaws was something completely different than anything I've ever done before, but I enjoyed it. I really did enjoy it. Holy crap, this thing is loud. This thing is so loud. Okay, so it is... Okay, I did forget that it was manual. That's true. And right, let's... Ooh, that looks intense. What about... Hmm. How about this? We'll go straight. Or not. Because that seems to just go to like a... Ooh! What is this? Oh, God. I know it's built, but I don't know if it's... Excuse me? What did you just do? 
gonna need a little more oomph for that. It's, this thing is blowing my mind. This thing is absolutely blowing my mind. I need to adjust just a little bit. There it is. Oh! Right off the bat, it just came out here and conquered. <laughs> okay, that's entirely a speed hill. That is entirely a speed hill. At least it look it sure looks like it. Oop. I don't have the oh, I don't have the tire size for that. You need some insane tires to make it up a grade that steep, and I just don't think I have that tire size. Oh! Just that little bit of extra momentum. Bumping it up the hill. It, it got the job done. I definitely want to work on the damping and the suspension stiffness, because I think it's a little bit... I think it's a little bit weird. I think it's a little bit iffy, but this is easily my favorite randomly generated vehicle to this day because it is just so like a it looks real and b it's so incredibly functional like i've never had a randomized build that was this functional now granted it's a number generator build and not necessarily a like an in-game randomized build but to a certain degree i I, I, I like it better than the than the random in-game builds because it just looks better. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to let me know your thoughts and opinions on it in the comments below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys next time.